happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, this second date update. Dear Ryan and Sissini, I went out with the nicest guy ever. Total gentleman. So polite he held doors. Opened my car door. Was nice to the waiter. He even asked to kiss me on the cheek at the end of the night. At one point, he asked me if I believe in soulmates. Now his responses on text are so delayed. It doesn't feel right, but I don't want to let such a good guy go based on what could simply be poor texting etiquette or bad text deciphering on my part. Mm. So what happened? Mm. This is Tori in Orange who's asking us to call him. Tori, good morning. Good morning. I'm, I get frustrated by this story. Because yeah. it sounds like everything was great. And, I mean, who's having soulmate conversations if you're not into right? somebody? Mm-hmm. Right? Isn't it, like, the perfect, like, movie scenario? Well, you just don't have that conversation and and not be into somebody, you know? Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, what do we think could have happened here? You know, I don't know. At first, I thought maybe he's really busy and I don't want to, you know, annoy him. Um, and then I just thought, okay, maybe he's not that great of text at texting, mm-hmm. but I just cannot get responses from him. So I'm starting to get a little. And how long ago was sad. this amazing night out? It was two days ago. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, well, yeah. we, well, it's still- like I mean, but, like I understand. Okay, it was not right. It's not been a long time. That's a long right. time. That's not a long time. It's not, but like I can't get him to respond to anything. How many texts have you sent him in these two days? Okay, I sent him like five. <laughs> um, just like, you know, oh. hey, I had a great time. You know, like really enjoy talking to you. Do you want to meet up? Like stuff like that. Look, it's not a long time in the context of a work week. Okay, that's true. So I think sometimes people, you know, if, if you went out two days ago over the weekend, you're in a different rhythm. Sometimes mm-hmm. work and kids, I mean, I don't know if he has kids, but work and like life keeps yeah. you occupied. So let's do this, Tori. Okay. His name is what? David? Yes. Okay. We're going to put you on hold and get his number. And we are okay. going to call him and ask him okay. what's going on. Okay. And you will be on the phone, but I'm not going to tell him you're there. Okay. okay Hang wow. on. Yeah. Hold on one okay. second. Let's do that next. Tori's on the phone. Second date update. She goes out with Prince Charming. And everything's great. And on the date, by the way, a couple nights ago, he starts asking her if she believes in soulmates. He even asked to kiss her. At the end of the night. Cute. On on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Cute, right. Yeah. And now he's not responding to texts. And she's like, well, I don't want to like... This is a great guy, I think. It's only been two days. I understand that. So we're looking at Sunday and Monday. Right. Two days that kind of yeah. suck. Yeah. They're sucky days. Right? Like yeah. Sunday blues. Or just Sunday. You're, not Sunday blues, but you've just got a lot going on Sunday. No. People have Sunday blues. Mm-hmm. It's a real thing. It's a thing. It started in school for me. Mm-hmm. Right? I yeah, used to always cram sure. my homework till 7 o'clock when 60 Minutes was on when Dad was watching it. Yeah. Tick, tick, <laughs> tick. Call that clock. Like, Dad, what are you watching? <laughs> it's still there. Still the same click. Yep. So we're going to call David now and ask him why he's disappeared. And let's see what we find out. Yeah, it's not good. All right. So we're calling him now. Let's find out. Be very quiet, okay? Okay. Hello? Hi, is David there? This is David. Well, hello, David. How are you? Uh, I'm well. How how are you? I'm great. My name is Ryan Seacrest. We're calling you on the air right now on Kiss FM. I have my friend Sissini with me. Hi, David. Thanks for uh, your time. We have a question about your date with a woman named Tori. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I remember Tori, yeah. Great. How did it go? Uh, I went great. I had, a, I had a really nice time. I liked her. You yeah. do, and yes. so yeah. And what would you say the best part about it was? Uh, just talking with her. I just felt like we kind of yeah. I just really enjoyed her company. Mm-hmm. And did you respond to her after she's reached out to you since the date? Uh, I have. Yeah, I have responded. 
Okay, because okay. w- w- do you want to go out with her again? Uh, I, I would, yeah. I would like to go out with her again. Well, you should yeah. maybe make that known to her, just <laughs> saying. Well, Tori, actually, David, is on the phone with us right now. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> and hey. she was telling us that you've been less than responsive since you went out. Yeah, uh, yes, not as much as I would like to have been. Um, well, okay. uh, I'm sorry about that, Tori. Um, I, the, look, the truth is I, I just got out of a relationship. Um, yeah, so I'm still kind of trying to navigate all that and my feelings and where I'm at just personally. Um, so I, I just don't know what I'm feeling. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I get that. I, I, you know, really like you. I was really impressed with you. But, like, what about the soulmate question? I don't know. If, like, what about that? You know, we were talking about that, and you asked me if I believe in soulmates. Yes, the soulmate question. I, I, I do believe in soulmates. Um, I, I just don't know if my ex is mine or... If so you're you in the are. middle of... Wait, wait. Are, you're, are you, you're still in a fresh breakup or are you still breaking up? It, it's a fresh breakup. How it's fresh? fresh breakup. How fresh? Just, yeah, the, uh, about a month. Oh. How long were you guys together? Two years. Okay, so what is Tori supposed to think here? You uh, you went out with her, showed her a great time, and now you're on the fence. I, I, I'm just I'm trying to navigate my feelings and try to figure out exactly what's clear uh, for me, and if what I'm feeling is in the past or the present or the future. I'm kind of all over the place, and I I, I feel bad uh, about that. About and if I wasn't clear about that with you, Tori, I'm. I'm very sorry. Uh, it was not my intention. I'm just, I'm trying to figure it all out. Oh. Yeah. I mean, look, like, I am so impressed with, you know, like, who you seem to be. It's not every day you meet a guy, you know, that's, that's nice like you and respectful. So, I mean, I'm willing to give it a second chance if, if you are, but, you know, you have to, it's up to you now. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I absolutely am. It's, it's great to hear, and I, I appreciate you saying those kind words about me. Uh, but I, I just, I have to be clear that um, about where I'm coming from, and that I just, I need to take it slow, and I need time, and I definitely want to see you again. I just, I don't want you to have expectations, or, and perhaps I've already set that up, but I, I just don't want you to have any expectations to upset you in any way. Yeah, you know, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. So you're going to take it slow? Okay. Yeah. Take it slow. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking it slow. Okay. That's good. Yeah, as, as long as you're clear on being taking it slow, then that's good. Yeah, then, then I feel good about it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, right. I feel good about it, too. Great. This is the only second date updates that's actually worked out, so thank you, and good oh. luck. Oh, amazing. Yeah, oh, cool. cool, great. All right. Well, Tori and David. Tori and David. Yay. Team Tori and David. And this will make for a cute story one day. Uh-huh. Can't wait to tell it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm we're we're going to go, but good luck, you guys, okay? Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, for yeah. my pleasure. This is a great concept, this second date update. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye-bye. First one ever. First See? success ever. Okay. Why do I feel like it's... Like there's something I, oh, wrong. My <laughs> only issue, my only issue is I I, I don't want to be the rebound kid. Yeah. Wait, Why not? He's, I don't want to be the rebound. And rebounds he's, can turn into a great situation. I don't want to play that game. Well, he's saying to Tori, you're going to be my rebound while I sort myself out. Well, tough luck. Mm-hmm. But it's okay if you take it slow and you have no expectations. That's what I did with Michael. Oh, who has no expectations? Please. Please. You guys, Michael was legit going to be a rebound. Like it was like two weeks after I was out of a relationship, and it it was definitely not a rebound. But that's what was my mentality. I was like, okay, it's summer. I'll have a but summer fling. But he didn't know he was going to be the rebound. Exactly. This I guy think I told him. No, well, you didn't. He, this guy just told her she's going to be the rebound, and she's going to take her time. Yes, Patty. My Michael was the rebound as well. Thank you very I much, did. Patty. I met him a month and a half after the and other did, guy broke up with me. Did he know? Oh. Did Michael know he was a rebound? He, I didn't tell him 
I didn't say the word rebound. Yeah, but, but he did know, know that I had a relationship. Just, had, I had just gotten out of a relationship. He knew well, that. Well, good for you and your Michaels. Yeah, I'm just saying it's possible. Yes. It's possible, but I would not want to be told, hey, you're the rebound. Just chill for a little while and let me take my time. Yeah.